Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. These are the ones that you're just like, I want this to happen to me. This very nice old lady said they were hers as a child and had to put a high price on it because people would beat her down. $10. Wow. That is not a high price. She said $10 and we couldn't pay her fast enough. Okay. What are these? They're insoles. 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 Hey, Bella Buddies. Thanks for watching. All right, let's get started. Hey, Bolo Buddies. Thanks for watching. All right, in this video, we're going to talk about Bolo items, items to be on the lookout for, items you can hopefully buy low and sell for a profit. My name is Courtney, and I am also known as Bolo Buddies. So let's get started here. I am going to tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. And these are items that you need to be on the lookout for when you're at estate sales, garage sales, thrift stores, YouTube auctions, wherever you source, Facebook Marketplace whatnot. People are sourcing on whatnot. Did you see this video right here? Somebody bought something on whatnot for $20 and sold it on eBay for $999, I think it was. Go watch this video. I will link it in the description. Just incredible. And if you're not on whatnot, I have a link down below. If you join with that link, you're going to get $15 dollars to shop. That is my referral link. It's going to take you over to Bolo Buddies. Make sure you follow me, okay? Because I am selling on whatnot now. Let's get into these bolos. These are share your best December bolo. I posted this in the Facebook group and invited everybody to share their bolo items. And the Facebook group is getting close to 80,000 members. Ah! All right. So, she picked this up for $5.99 at the Goodwill and sold it for full asking price of $239.97. Bam! It is a vintage Grateful Dead Summer Tour 1994 tie-dye t-shirt. Um, Surfer Jerry Pirate Ship. And that is what it looks like. I will tell you guys, any vintage tees that are concert tees, whether it be Grateful Dead or other bands, definitely be on the lookout. Look them up if they're single stitch and you can get them cheap. Don't even look them up. Just grab them and pay and get out of there. Get out of there. All right. Here is another one. I just ended my last video talking about one of these. And that one went for way more. So you got to go check out that video if you missed it. I picked this up at the Goodwill, I believe, for a few bucks and sold it on eBay for $120. It is a Thai Beanie Baby, $120. And this gal who's sharing these, I'm guessing she's a Beanie Baby expert because she sold that other one that I just shared in the other video for like a lot more. So she knows what to look for. But this one is the Thai Beanie Babies Garcia Bear Rare, third generation, HT, second gen, tush. I mean, she's got all these keywords in the title that I just don't even know what they mean. It's just, it's really incredible. So do Beanie Babies sell for $10,000 and $15,000? No, but can you still sell some of them for over $100 if you know what to look for? Absolutely. And she has proved this. So when she started sharing about the Beanie Babies in the group, I'm like, I want to hear about all of them because it just intrigues me because I, you know, most of these get tossed to the side. I know, um, Donatella Bottolino over on her YouTube channel, she'll do Beanie Babies from time to time. And most of them are vintage and, um, she lots them up in big lots and people bid on them and buy them. And it's probably people looking for the special ones because there are some that go for over a hundred dollars, but I don't know. I don't know enough about it. And I don't care to learn. I don't have time to learn about Beanie Babies. I'm going to let this gal sell all the Beanie Babies. But um, definitely something to think about. I picked this up at DI Thrift Store for 75 cents. There were 17 people bidding on it. The winning bid was $80 plus shipping. So it is an antique round cutting board. Bread Primitive Country Kitchen. Huh. 
That is awesome. And she did mark out her um, eBay store. Just so you know, if you share in the Facebook group, you are more than welcome to leave your store name showing. I don't mind that at all for the video. Um, you posted it, so if you want to remain private, just cross it out. If you don't, you're more than welcome to leave it there. If you are a Bolo Buddies member, you will get a shout out in the video. I will pop up your eBay store and I will, um, if you have a YouTube channel, I'll share that. And those links will be down in the description below. Um, what is a Bolo Buddies member? That is somebody who has joined this channel for perks. It's level two, and that's how you get to be in the video as a, uh, you get the extra shout out or the mention with the link down below, okay? So if you're interested in memberships, there is a join button. If you don't see that join button, there is an actual link in my link tree and also a link in the description. No pressure to join. Everyone is welcome to share their bolo. And if you post it right, your store name is gonna show up in the post. Okay. I bought this from a local thrift store for $3. And after seeing a big version on the buys of, or I'm sorry, the big version on the buys on whatnot for 20 video listed it and sold it for a full price of $300. Okay, so this is a rare Crown Trafari vintage Sorrento baby tooth pearl flower brooch and she sold this for $300. And from what I understand, this one was missing some stones. And that's what it looks like. So it is a Crown Trafari brooch. I bought these for $2.99 at the local thrift store. I didn't realize that it was a set of two until I got home. Took less than two weeks to sell for $110.49. What? Okay, what are these? They're insoles. Insoles. Insoles for $110? Vintage Niken. N-I-K-K-E-N, mag steps, medium uncut, sizes 5 through 9 and 7 through 12 insoles, massage walking set. <laughs> Who knew, right? Insoles. Pick this guy up at a thrift store back in July for $2.49. And you know I love plush. Finally sold for my full asking price of $134.99. He is from the Disney movie, Santa Paul's. And all the plus from the movie, all the plus, plush, it's missing the end of it there. All the plush from the movie are big bolos. Well, that is good to know because I did not know that. I mean, I probably would have picked it up on the cuteness factor. And if it had the Disney store on the paw, um, I usually just pick those up, but very rare, hard to find Santa Paul plush white dog with hat, $134.99. That is incredible. Wow. I bought this magnetic hoop at the Goodwill for $6.99. I had it listed for $150 and accepted a best offer of $120. Um, it's a baby lock magnet magnetic snap hoop what on earth what is it that's what it looks like is it some sort of like thing to like child protection that sounds weird is it child protection <laughs> does it like keep your child away from something or a baby lock i don't know but it sold for 120 dollars wow so the game is a rare witch witch board game Haunted House by Milton Bradley, 1971. So this is a vintage board game. She paid four bucks for it, bought it at a thrift store, and it sold in 30 days. The next one is a vintage set of fan lamp with Brass Hollywood Regency Harris Elegance MCM prop. And those sold for 185 and she got those for $10 at a yard sale, and they sold in three weeks. At the bins, I found pieces of the set digging in the bins. Found almost all of them. $2 maybe. Sold for $83 in a month. This is from Dare to Dream Big 1313. That is her eBay store. And I not sure if this sold on eBay or Etsy, but this is definitely a cool bolo. 
Play-Doh McDonald's Happy Meal Set Play Shop McDonald Land from 1998. Ah, she dug it out of the bins. You go. Yes, I love the bins. If you guys have not watched my Goodwill bins videos where I'm like digging, you should see the stuff I find at the Goodwill bins. I am a dig to the bottom and find those toys kind of girl. So if that's your thing, you'll love my videos. But um, you'll also probably love watching and telling me all the things I miss because it's like I zero in on the things that I like and that I'm like, you know how you have those things you like? And a lot of times people are like, ah, you missed this, you missed that. So I tell everybody to go watch my video and timestamp, which means tell me what time to go watch on the video and tell me the bolo that I missed or an item you would have picked up and sold for a profit. Um, one thing people always get me on is the Tupperware. Um, I guess in my last video, I missed a ton of vintage Tupperware. Uh, Noelle Farm Girl Scavenger, um, she talks about Tupperware all the time. And I know it's a bolo, but it's just something that I pass by. I don't know. I'm not drawn to it. Like, I'm drawn to toys, you know. But I need to do better about getting Tupperware, it sounds like. You guys let me know in the comments if you sell vintage Tupperware. Okay. Purchased at a local online auction for $2, accepted an offer of $100 plus shipping. It is a vintage, um, let me see if I can pronounce this, Bartlett Collins glass cookie jar, orange, yellow, daisy flower canister. And this is what it looks like. That's cool. Bought a box of old Barbie clothes and one Barbie doll for $10 at a garage sale. This very nice old lady said they were hers as a child and had to put a high price on it because people would beat her down. $10, wow, that is not a high price. She said $10 and we couldn't pay her fast enough. Vintage Barbie clothes from the 60s can go for crazy money. The same buyer won two auctions and spent over $740 and paid. Big Bolo, the doll was just a thrown in as it needed a reroute but did have value. Sold the Barbie box for 89 and a separate outfit for 140. So yes, if you get a vintage Barbie doll and the hair is like a mess, you can still sell it. They will still sell. I have sold Barbie heads, just the head. Um, messed up hair. Yeah. There's people that fix them up. They know what to do. Don't toss it. Don't donate it. If it's vintage, somebody's looking for it. All right. So these pictures are really small. Um, it's a vintage 1960s Mattel TNT, which stands for twist and turn. I have learned a little bit about Barbie stuff. Um, now they put twist and turn in the title also. Japanese exclusive, it says, plaid outfit, and it sold for $350. Oh, I wish the screen, maybe I'll be able to zoom in and cut it out and make it bigger for you guys. But what I'm looking at is tiny, tiny. And then it looks like they sold a clutch purse, but I can't see the price on that one. Oh, they've got a whole bunch here. Oh, goodness me. Vintage Barbie and her friends, um, hot dogs and something, album vinyl. This is really small. You guys, when you post these, if you can post the bigger sold shots for me, it makes it better for the video and it's easier for me to read during the video because I'm like zooming in like this <laughs> to try to read it and it's still hard. Um, it looks like a Barbie skirt or um, a dress, low-waisted, beaded, I don't know. I just can't read it. And then a uh, black label Barbie uh, shirt dress. And so it was all three of these items right here, and they were all in for $391.67. And then here's the outfit for $140, a floral print dress, Japanese exclusive that went for $140. And then another vintage Barbie skate outfit, it looks like, and I can't see the price. Let me see. Nope, it's just not going to show me. But yeah, vintage Barbie stuff. So what you're looking for is if you open it up, number one, if it has hook and loop or Velcro, commonly known as Velcro, but you cannot use the word Velcro on eBay, it will get you a Vero violation. You have to use hook and loop. But from what I understand, anything that is older from the 60s is going to have snaps and older like, you know, fasteners. Anything Velcro is going to be, or hook and loop is gonna be newer. So, um, 
there is a tag on the inside and if it is white with like black embroidered uh, Barbie on it, that is definitely an older piece that you want to try to identify. Most of these pieces will have a, I think it's a five digit number. Maybe, maybe it's four. I'm not sure. I'm not a Barbie expert by any means. Um, if you can figure out which outfit it is and put that in the title, that is going to help you sell your item for more. Um, my reseller treasure, Brandy, check out her YouTube channel. It looks like this. She, um, has really helped me out a lot when I have questions about vintage Barbie stuff. She's incredible. I mean, she just knows her stuff. She does what sold videos over on her channel, but she also teaches about vintage Barbies and toys. So definitely go subscribe to her. She's incredible. Found at the Salvation Army thrift store, paid 50 cents, sold for full asking price of 105 in less than a month. Oh my goodness. I love this. What is it? Uh, okay. I definitely would have picked it up just for the fact that it's a plush and it's weird. Um, it's a Nanco Metro Goldwyn Pink Panther Aardvark Blue Doll Plush Stuffed. But I don't know why it says Pink Panther, but this is what it looks like. Oh my goodness. How funny is that? $105. I found this Paul and Shark Yacht Men's, I'm sorry, Paul and Shark Yachting men's sweater at Angel View. So that must be a thrift store. Paid $7.49. Listed for $165 and accepted an offer of $105. It took about a month to sell. I found another one last week at the same thrift store. So this is, I'm not a big clothing reseller. I used to be, but I would go in and do like retail arbitrage stuff. Um, I wasn't really out thrifting for clothes. So, um, I have had some newer channels that have joined memberships that do clothing. So uh, that is fantastic for um, you guys because you're going to get to see more clothing. But this is a Paul and Shark. So another brand I've never heard of, $105. And this is what it looks like. I got these Bose Enhancement Headphones from The Benz. The Benz. Do you guys know what The Benz are? The Goodwill Benz, you pay by the pound. They are less than a pound and it was half off day. Okay, my bins does not have half off day. Does your bins have half off day? So 75 cents. I listed them on eBay auction and they sold and were paid for, and were paid for 417 all in. Side note, that was not the only pair. A noise canceling set of Bose headphones were in the bag with these. They sold for 191. Gotta love the bins. This one comes from Stellar seller sam she's like my name's gonna get you it's a hard one this is her youtube channel she is a new youtuber um i was checking out her channel and she's got some great content her editing skills are fantastic uh so definitely go and check her out uh stellar seller sam <laughs> and that's what it looks like say that say that three times fast i did it okay Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. These are the ones that you're just like, I want this to happen to me. You know, you know those? <laughs> okay, sorry, that was my excite. That was me getting excited. I bought this at an estate sale. I paid $5 and sold it for $2,685. I chose auction and my start price at 800 was a shot in the dark. Holy cow. Wow. It is a Civil War Surgeon's Patient Ledger, Harrisburg, Kentucky, 1862. Five bucks at an estate sale. $2,685. Would you have walked past it or would you have picked it up? Let me know in the comments. Everybody's like, whoa, my goodness. Wowza. All right. That was incredible. Uh, found at the Goodwill bins and paid $3.50 for this pair. After researching and cleaning, I posted for $500, but took an offer of $300, which is right where I wanted to be. And it says, Bola Buddies member eBay store Ava B. Boutique. It says, vintage 
40s World War II U.S. Calvary official buckled riding boots, size 10 and a half. Bam, 300 bucks. What do you think about that? That's incredible. Okay, here we go. After watching one of your Bolo videos on stationery that a member found at a garage sale, I found a bunch of these adorable vintage Eskimo cards by artist Joan Erend Kickbush at a local mom and pop thrift store in a small town. They were beautifully illustrated with bold colors and I had been eyeing them for a few weeks. When I did finally get them, it was half off day. End up costing less than $8 for all. I have three larger box sets left that I listed higher as one card that I comped that was the same artist and size recently sold for $150 for one card. Wow. We shall see. Thanks so much, Bolo Buddies, for the heads up. Okay, so the video that she is talking about is this one right here. And I featured um, pretty much Mindful Recycle. She went to an estate sale and bought... I want to say it was like 70 of these for a dollar a piece. <laughs> Got my hair there. Um, just crazy. Wait until you see what they sold for. I will try to remember to link this down in the description. Also, you can find more information about it over on Terry Mindful Recycles channel. Um, but she got the score of, I mean, like I call it a once in a lifetime score. Like that's not going to happen to her ever again, probably 72 of them for a buck a piece. Some of them, I think she sold one of them. It was over $600 and you'll have to watch that video to see which one it was and why it sold for so much. But here are hers. I'm going to pop them up and it says uh, rare vintage Joan Arid Kickbush original art Eskimo box of 40 note cards sold for 60 and the other one sold for $24.99. And this was just, I think, two cards. So yeah, definitely, definitely a bolo. All right, you guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Let me know in the comments which bolo was your favorite. Leave me a comment of an owl or just say hoot in the comments. Um, I appreciate you all so much. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe. And if you guys have not hit that little bell and turned that on, that will alert you when I post new videos. So um, definitely turn that bell on. Thank you again for being here and thanks for watching.